Hey, what's up guys, it's Arun, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a 1440p monitor from Samsung. The amazing thing about this monitor is it's actually 144Hz, and it is probably the best monitor that I've ever used in my life, so I really wanted to share my experience with this monitor with you guys. I believe the name of it is the CJG5 1800R. This is a 27 inch curved monitor from Samsung. So without any further ado, let's get into a video all about this monitor. So starting off with the unboxing experience, it was quite simple and straightforward. The monitor is actually packed in with a bit of foam, the shape of the screen, so it makes it really comfortable for the monitor to sit inside the box without having any strain or stress on the display itself, which is really good because it is quite a large display. So taking it out of the box, I place it on the side and I'm actually going to be mounting it with a monitor arm onto my desk. I'll leave a link down in the description of the monitor arm I'm using in my setup. I mainly chose this because the stand that comes with the Samsung monitor is actually really, really poor. It doesn't give you any height adjustable options or putting it into any vertical options if you wanted to. So you're pretty much stranded to just using it with a little bit of a tilt function and that is it. So thankfully there is a mounting bracket on the back of this monitor and so with a little bit of work you can put on a monitor arm. The one issue I did find with the mounting holes on the back of the monitor is that if you do put a monitor arm and it is with the slightly bigger hole size as well, what ends up happening is that it does cover the back plate. So if you do want to take that off to change the HDMI port or the DVI port on the back of your monitor, you're going to need to unscrew the whole monitor arm unless you can find one that is exactly the right size. So with the monitor all set up, it is time to show you why it is such a special monitor. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the specifications of this monitor. So it's got a screen size of 27 inches. The bezels are quite small. I would have hoped for a little bit smaller bezels, especially on the edges. Now there aren't any speakers built into the monitor. So if you are using this with a PC, you're going to need to make sure that you have your own headphones or speakers separately because no sound is going to come out of the monitor. It does, however, have two HDMI inputs on the back and a headphone output. So you can theoretically connect your speakers to the monitor itself if you are interested in that sort of a setup. Now the resolution of this monitor is 2560 by 1440, which is blazingly sharp. It equates to roughly 2K resolution, and it is an absolute upgrade if you're coming from a 1080p monitor. You're gonna be noticing that text and images really pop on a monitor like this. Even if you turn the settings down in certain games, the sheer resolution just looks so good that everything just looks super clean and clear. Now the refresh rate of this monitor can go all the way up to 144Hz, which makes it fantastic to use for gaming, especially at that high resolution with a curved display. It also has a very standard aspect ratio of 16 by 9 and also supports AMD FreeSync, which allows it to reduce image tear and a lower input lag with AMD GPUs. Another amazing feature that this monitor has is a 3000 to 1 contrast ratio, which means that the blacks on this monitor are so, so dark and the whites really pop with really bright and vivid colors, giving such an amazing experience when you're using this monitor for media consumption and gaming. As far as the settings go, you're able to quickly change them with a little button at the bottom of the monitor right underneath the Samsung logo. This allows you to quickly change the response time, refresh rate, and even turn on and off FreeSync and make sure that your low input lag is turned on or off. You're also able to change your black equalizer very quickly here. And if you are interested, you can go further down into the settings and change your settings from a gaming mode to a movie mode and all your general settings quite easily. It is really handy to be able to change your refresh rate and see what refresh rate your monitor is running with just a click of a button, which is a fantastic feature that this monitor has. Now, the only issue I have with this monitor, to be completely honest, is that the power button at the bottom actually flashes on and off when the monitor is in sleep mode or even when you turn it completely off, which is a little bit frustrating because if you keep it in the room where you're sleeping in, then at night time you are going to get a little bit annoyed by it because the blue LED at the bottom is quite bright and it can illuminate quite a large area when it's flashing on and off. But really that is a tiny nitpick for a fantastic monitor like this one. And when I played it in some gaming, the experience is just so, so good. My first time using it in Apex Legends, I actually dropped an 8 kill win because it is so much easier than using a 1080p monitor, especially at 60Hz. 
If you haven't ever played on a 144Hz monitor, I really highly recommend you go down to a tech shop and just give it a try. Anyway guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of gameplay now of me gaming with this monitor at 1440p 144Hz. I'm going to do my best to try and convey the colors to you, but it is going to be a little bit hard because it is being captured externally with a camera. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a fantastic monitor and I highly recommend it. It is most definitely the cheapest monitor that has a 1440p resolution at 144Hz. So if those are the specs that you're interested in, this is by far the best monitor at that price range, hands down. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you ended up enjoying this video, consider subscribing. Only a small proportion of my viewers are actually subscribed. So it means a lot to me if you drop a sub down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.